in the previous lecture we saw that E m waves have an intensity which is equal to c times average energy density u which is one half epsilon 0 e 0 the amplitude square and E m waves also carry momentum which is equal to u per unit area per unit time. And as a result they can apply pressure, they can carry energy and give you heat. Now, in this lecture I am going to solve two examples to give you an idea what the kind of electromagnetic fields etcetera are related with electromagnetic radiation coming out of ordinary light or also what kind of pressures do they apply. So, this is a lecture essentially about numbers. As example 1, let us take a 60 watt bulb so that means, the light coming out is equivalent to power being 60 watt and calculate electric field amplitude and magnetic field amplitude at a distance of 1 meter from the bulb under the assumption assuming that the bulb can be treated as a point source. So, I am taking this bulb to be a point source which is radiating isotropically radiating isotropically. That means, there is no particular direction in which it radiates preferably. So, what I have is a bulb here which is giving out radiation in all the directions and we want to see at 1 meter what is the associated electric field. So, all the electromagnetic waves are propagating in the radial direction. Let us look at one particular direction going to the right. Electric field is going to be perpendicular to that and so is going to be the magnetic field. The power carried per unit area in this case is going to be 60 joules per second divided by 4 pi r square r we are taking to be 1 meter. So, this is 15 over pi watts per meter square that is the power and what is this power per unit area or energy per unit area per unit time this is precisely equal to the pointing vector. And therefore, what we have is C u which is C times 1 half epsilon 0 E 0 square is equal to 15 over pi and I want to calculate E 0. E 0 therefore, is going to be equal to 30 over pi c square root. Let us multiply to ease the calculation, let us multiply by 4, multiply by 4. So, this is the square root of 120 over 4 pi c, which is equal to square root of 120 times 9 times 10 raise to 9 divided by 3 times 10 raise to 8. this gives me 10, this gives me 3. So, this is 3600 which gives me 60 volts per meter. Imagine this, if you are standing 1 meter from a 60 watt bulb at a distance of 1 meter from it, you have an electric field related to that radiation coming out of the bulb as 60 volts per meter over 1 meter the voltage difference is going to be 60 volts that is how much the electric field is. Farther away you go the power spreads over a larger area and therefore, electric field is going to go down. How about the corresponding magnetic field? The magnetic field magnitude is nothing but E 0 over C. So, this is going to be 60 over 3 times 10 raise to 8 Tesla which is 20 times 10 raise to minus 8 is 2 times 10 raise to minus 7 
Tesla. So, associated magnetic field is really very, very small. As example 2, I am going to talk about a laser pointer which is giving out laser light and let us say these typical laser pointers that we see in the lab and you know in the, in the, in the auditorium is let us say this is of power 20 milliwatt. So, 20 milliwatt of power is coming out and since laser light goes as a beam let us say the radius of this beam is 1 millimeter. Therefore, what we want to know is how much pressure does this laser apply on a surface where it is completely absorbed. So, what we are seeing is I have a surface on which this laser beam which is coming gets absorbed completely. The pressure comes because of the momentum transferred per unit area per unit time is equal to the pressure. We have area is equal to pi r square which is 10 raised to minus 6 pi meter square. We have power which is equal to 20 milliwatts or 2 times 10 raise to minus 2 watts and therefore, the s or the pointing vector is going to be 2 times 10 raise to minus 2 divided by 10 raise to minus 6 pi which is 2 times 10 raise to 4 over pi joules per second meter square that is s. s is equal to u times c where u is the energy density and therefore, u is equal to s over c which is equal to 2 times 10 raise to 4 over pi times 3 times 10 raise to 8 which is 2 over 3 pi times 10 raise to minus 6 joules per meter cubed. How much is the momentum carried? Momentum flow that means, momentum across the surface per unit area per unit time is u which is 2 over 3 pi times 10 raise to minus 6. Now, I can write it as momentum. So, k g meter per second per unit area per unit time and this is the momentum transfer and this is therefore, going to the pressure which comes out to be 0.67 over 3 roughly 0.22 or 2.2 times 10 raise to minus 7 newtons per meter square that is the answer. So, what I have shown you through these two examples is that how much is roughly the field associated with radiation that we see in our lives and also how much is the pressure. You see that fields are quite large of the order of 10 volts per meter and the pressure applied by light is very, very small of the order of 10 raise to minus 6 or 10 raise to minus 7 newtons per meter square.